Scan the snack food aisle of your local supermarket, and you'll notice that barbecue, ketchup, and salt and vinegar are no longer limited to potato chips. Nuts come in tantalizing taste choices, too. But if you're a traditionalist, you can still buy them plain, salted or unsalted. The botanical definition of a nut is a dry, one-seed fruit in a hard shell that doesn't open on its own. Most peanuts have two seeds, so even though we call them nuts, they're technically a legume, a type of pea. One way to prepare peanuts for sale is to roast them whole, right in their shells. This is known as dry roasting because they cook the peanuts without using any oil in a large convection oven. The oven temperature is 300 degrees Fahrenheit. The roasting process takes about a half hour. When the peanuts come out, they're fully cooked and ready to be eaten. Before the peanuts go off to be packaged, a worker inspects them, removing any shell fragments and foreign matter. Another way to prepare peanuts or other nuts for sale is to dry roast only the seeds. These peanut seeds arrive at the factory with their shells and skins already removed. A conveyor transports them to a revolving drum called the tumbler. As the tumbler spins, the nuts are sprayed with a liquid seasoning mixture. One of ten flavors this company produces. Salted, smoked, ketchup, barbecue, and salt and vinegar, just to name a few. The rotating action ensures the seasoning coats the nuts thoroughly. Now a conveyor transports the peanuts to a convection oven. The conveyor turns from side to side, spreading the peanuts in a thin layer so that they'll dry roast evenly. They roast for the same length of time and at the same temperature as peanuts in the shell, about a half hour at 300 degrees Fahrenheit. As they exit the oven, a worker breaks up any clumps. When they use the other method of preparing shelled nuts, they tumble on the seasoning after cooking. Instead of dry roasting the nuts as we saw earlier, they fry them in oil. This process is called oil roasting. It gives the nuts a greasier, fried taste. These cashews are on their way to be oil roasted. They go into a huge frying tank containing 580 gallons of canola oil, heated to 320 degrees Fahrenheit. The nuts come out fully cooked 15 minutes later, and they're steaming hot. A powerful ventilation system draws the heat outdoors, cooling the cashews to room temperature. This process takes about 15 minutes. By now, the nuts have absorbed any cooking oil that remained on their surface, so they receive a light spray of vegetable oil. This makes their surface sticky again, so that the salt or seasoning mix will adhere. This factory also produces nut mixes. Here, the mixer is combining various nuts with dried fruit. From there, it's onto a packaging machine, whose eight computer program scales automatically weigh out a specific package portion. But before each portion goes into a bag, it passes through a metal detector. This ensures that no shards of metal have worn off the equipment and fallen into the food. The machinery hermetically seals the plastic packages. This keeps the contents fresh for at least six months.